Well, that's Jazzy. Here's a damn mother in Aiken County, South Carolina. Charged in the death of her nearly two-year-old daughter after deputies said she failed to report the child had overdosed on fentanyl for hours. January 20th, 9.35 p.m., officers responded to a home at a mobile home park. To an unresponsive child, deputy arrived, loading the girl into the patrol vehicle, and they taken her to a facility, nearby facility. Alexandra Howe, 23, told deputies she drove her daughter to the hospital in Augusta due to the girl suffering from bad migraines. Howe said on the way to the hospital, her daughter began to act normal, and she st stated that she was fine. She told the deputies that she drove to the hospital and sat in the parking lot for an hour and a half where she monitored her daughter. Jesus Christ. She then drove back home and her daughter fell asleep in the vehicle just as she turned onto the street. Wow, she was at the hospital too. She could have saved her. According to the incident report, House stated that she carried her daughter into the home while she remained asleep and laid her on the girl's bed before leaving to go to the store for cigarettes. Jesus fucking Christ. She checked on her daughter and she noticed that she felt a little cold at the time, but she was still breathing. She said she took her daughter off the bed and placed her on the floor next to the air vent. Wow, what a parent. Another woman in the mobile home came into Hal's room and alerted her to the fact that the child's lips were purple and she appeared to be not breathing. Hal was transported to Aiken County Detention Center for four pending charges of fentanyl. An arrest warrant stated that the probable cause the cause of death by her daughter was committed the cause how caused the death of her daughter by committing child abuse and neglect by creating an unsafe environment she consisted in abuse of non-prescription drugs and narcotics and left those drugs within the reach of children upon realizing the child was in medical distress the subject concealed the child in the active emergency from others failing to provide the child were with required immediate life-saving medical attention, carrying out normal activities and ignoring the medical emergency for hours, depriving the children of medical attention and demonstrating extreme indifference of the, the life. The girl ingested a fatal amount of fentanyl. So, besides that one, I just saw another one. Two arrested and a two-year-old boy overdosing in Nigeria County. The sheriff's office said on April 25th, deputies were called to the home and the child was unresponsive. The investigation and two-year-old ingested fentanyl. I'm not sure how he ingested it. Then you had another one. This was a two-year-old girl in Beaverton. They actually gave her two, two doses of opioid reversing Narcan and actually saved her life. But they don't, it doesn't say how she got it. It was in something she ingested, but she was also inside of a car parked outside of a daycare. So I guess she could have got it from somewhere inside the daycare, but I would say the parents were, were more involved in that. She may have taken it from the house, or maybe her parents stuck it in her purse or, or stuck it in something of hers, you know, in case they thought they got pulled over or some shit. Here's another one. Staines Slouse County, 18-month-old, dies of fentanyl. California dad arrested after a girl who was two, overdoses on fentanyl. Mother charged in fentanyl overdose of her 12-year-old daughter. Three-year-old Apache Junction boy dies from fentanyl overdose. Two-year-old overdoses from fentanyl. Kenner, Kenner mother arrested for 20-month-old son dies of fentanyl. Why did we keep putting 20 months, 19 months? Why did you put a year or two years? Why did you have to go through all that dumb shit? A toddler, a toddler took a nap in an Airbnb and fentanyl killed her. Mm -hmm. Liddy, 
or Lighty, Lavier, La Lavenier. I woke from a nap. So, some of these things just piss me off. And that shit pops up constantly. Woke up from a nap. Something wasn't right. And Nora, her normally energetic 19-month-old toddler, was not up from her slumber. Another one. San Diego, 13-year-old, 2-year-old, 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 12-year-old, 2-year-old, 2-year-old, 4-year-old, You know why all that fentanyl is in this country? Thank Joe Biden for his pathetic attempt of border, you know, enforcing, because he has none. And that's going to be a lot worse than people think pretty soon, because you don't even realize how many terrorists have probably come across to this country. You know, and when 9-11 happened, they had to do it from overseas. And they executed it perfectly. Now look at, there could be terrorists in every state. I mean, literally planning something in every state at every major event. It's, it's insane. What he's done to this country has been nothing but a joke. And we are at the worst dangerous area or time in our country's history. And fentanyl is just is rampant right now. I didn't even realize you could do fentanyl and live till a couple of people that I, that I hang out with. I, I, they were telling me that they shoot it up and all that, and I, I didn't know you could do that. I thought it just killed you. I thought even if you sniffed it, but I guess it's probably like everything else where they mix it with shit and all that, but if you have fentanyl in your house around children and they get it and they die, or they even go to the hospital, you should be given lethal injection. That's just all there is to it. If you are a parent and you don't know how to parent, you know, if you want to do drugs, that's fine. You know, I'm not one of them bitches that's going to be all angry about all that. As long as you're parenting fine and you're not causing issues and your kid still gets everything he needs, fine. Do all the drugs you want, but be responsible about it. I mean, I don't really give a damn what people do, but when you do it and these children have, you know, they're supposed to be protected and they have no way to know what they're putting in their mouth or anything like that. If you're that pathetic and, and you get so screwed up on that shit, See, I, I didn't know that you could do the fentanyl, though, so I, I don't know even know what it does to you. I didn't know you could do it. And, I mean, I've seen them do it, and they almost immediately just go to sleep, which I, I think is strange. To me, that doesn't seem like a very interesting thing. But, but if you endanger a child and you're, you're not paying attention, then screw you. You just need to be in the ground. So there's, that's it. We've got to stop kissing everybody's ass when they do things like this this two or three year long drawn out court dates and all this and that then you just stick him in jail for however long just start killing these people that is so stupid we have so many people in jail that are in there for for murder this and that if you kill, if you take another life your life should be you know just basically voluntary you should have to take their life as well we could clear out so many people the population would go down so fast and people would know. Whenever you do something like this, you're gonna lose your life as well. And that would stop a lot of this shit from happening. But you also gotta have somebody in the White House that, for one, doesn't look like the Crypt Keeper and actually cares about the country. And that eye for an eye thing needs to come back. We need to be more strict. If you do something and it's 100% proven that the, you're the reason and you, you took someone's life, then you lose yours. That's all there is to it. That would be such a simple way to, to wipe down so much crime because people would stop this shit. If you shoot somebody like all this gang violence, yeah, well, one of the family members gets to shoot you and, and take you out. It, it would be beautiful justice for one. And there'd be a lot less people, be a lot less wasted money in jail because you don't even realize how much money jail it's like, it's so much money just for one person in jail each year in food and everything else that they have to give them, so. Yeah, maybe this is my, I keep stating that. Maybe I just need to run for president. I'm about that age. 
I think. I'm not sure what age you got to be. Well, I tell you, my first my first day would be would be something else. My God, we we would see so many changes. I'd have it all prepared for day one. All the rioting, vandalism, all that would be over with. Antifa would all be in the ground. Oh, I have to start thinking about that. Yeah, I wouldn't get very many votes, especially from the you know LGBTQ side or black side actually. Even though I don't have a problem with black people, I just I can't stand all the the constant rhetoric towards us for no reason. You know, maybe if we lived back during that era, yeah, I could see it, but we didn't, and neither did they. So it's just it's dumb. It's dumb to continue to bring up something that happened 400 years ago because none of us had anything to do with it. Nor is anybody oppressed. It's, come to think of it, you're doing a hell of a lot better than I've ever done. And that white supremacy shit, yeah. Nice try, but I've gotten nothing handed to me ever. I've worked for every single thing that I've had. As soon as I was 16, I was working. From 16 all the way till now. And I've never not had it. Been working, so. And it sucks. It actually is very annoying every day going to work and then coming home and you're too damn tired to do anything. And it's just a repetitive, annoying situation. But then you have people on welfare that get free money, get food stamps, free Medicare or Medicaid or whichever one it is, but then they use, which if you'll notice, these are the people that get ADH medicine, like Adderall, Vyvanse, pain medicine, and then they just go and sell them to buy drugs. So that whole system is fucked up, and it is. But then people that are working all the time, you know, don't even want to have to, getting insurance for, through your company is usually a hundred plus dollars out of every freaking paycheck. These people are getting it for free for not working. I mean, their lives are not great. It's not like they're, they're, they're making an effort. They're, they're usually living in shitty houses and things like that, but that's their fault. But they still shouldn't get everything for free. There needs to be some kind of a system put into place that they have to literally get drug tested every month. That's all there is to it. Food stamps has got to cut off the pop and the chips and all that shit. All you're doing is making these fat fucks fatter and they, they're disgusting. You make them fatter and fatter and then you go to Walmart to try to buy shit and you can't even get in the, in the aisles because of these fat fucks on their little carts. It's annoying and that shit needs to stop. If you're going to give free money, they need to buy healthy shit. That's just all there is to it. And if you're going to give them free medical shit, they need to somehow verify that they're taking the pills and they're not selling them. Because I know personally, because I used to buy a shit ton of Adderall off this one girl, and she was on this, these same things. I loved Adderall. I, hell, I would take them now if I could get them. See, I'm not a, I'm not a little pussy. Like I don't I hide shit like that. I loved Adderall. It calmed me down. I was, I was, it was, it was just a, a good drug. Kept my mind calm. Vivian, I hated. It absolutely gave me a migraine like you couldn't even freaking believe. But see, I don't personally see anything wrong with that buying stuff like that from people as long as you're not abusing shit but I haven't done the crap for so long now it's not even funny anyway that's it for that I'll shut up so take care